guys, it's me, Kuroyoshi, and welcome back to my 100% blind playthrough of my of the new Pokemon Snap for Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we finished off most of Florio and did a couple of our things. But we're back in uh, this uh, course here because we actually missed some certain star photos for some Pokemon that can only be found here. So that's what we're going to do now. So... Starting with uh, this course, we're going to get Emoga's Free Star Photo. To get it, you have to trigger the animation you get for the Len Talk request. Shockingly well done, which means we get to see Emoga zap the fruit again. However, there's actually two different versions you can get. I will show both of them, or at least attempt to show both of them. One thing that has been a little bit of a problem for me, I've been... Having a lot of problems actually getting uh, the fruit to land exactly where the charred fruit is. Okay, now you can see she's coming in. Okay. But anyway. So the idea is you either want to get her at it right as he starts going towards the fruit, or. Once you, once uh, he goes towards the other, and it has to be near a specific area, otherwise it won't actually attract them. As random, as they fly by, you have to get it. As you can see, it's kind of tricky. It's a pretty sneakily well done three star um, hide because uh, the actual shock is four stars, so it can be kind of difficult. So, anyways, with that, we've completed Amoga's page. Now we have to go to Park Knight to do the other quest. As per usual of these, we will do our best to um, get this at the specific time or whatever. Because it could be a little bit annoying. Alright. Yeah. In case you didn't already know us, I've kind of changed up the way I look at the guide now. I've moved on to a game code guide instead, so hopefully this one will bow a lot. This one is a lot more complete than the IGN guide, so I hope this will help me to at least complete the Len Talk request, because that is our current goal right now. And then we're kind of just adding another 100% stuff as we go along. Now, I am ignoring certain ones because of uh, a few specific things. So, this one I actually forget exactly what I have to get, but I do know what specifically I have to get. I have to get, I believe, a two-star photo of Torterra, then most of the rest of the stuff I have to get at the very end. Which is kind of interesting. And a free star Caterbee photo for some reason. So as you can see, if you scan, they um, kind of look at you a little bit funny. I believe that's actually their free star behavior, which is why we're doing that. We do not need to free the pincher here because we've already done that request. So we'll move straight on to this and... We'll see there's the Torterra here. This one's a little cheeky. You have to do this and then throw a rough fruit at it immediately after. It's really tricky. And you can see we had to be really quick with that. This one is a little bit of a trickier one, so I am going to be using a little bit of a buffer here to make it a bit easier. You have to throw an Illuminorb to wake them up, and then a Fluff Fruit soon after. And they will actually do an animation of themselves. Um, nine. And you want one that's looking at you if you want uh, higher stars. But um, you can do it with either, and that'll work. Okay, for this Sylveon one... Sylveon's one of the next sections. We have to start by waking her up, which will send her to the garden area. 
Then we have to reveal her again, and inside the actual garden area, we have to feed her a fluff fruit. This one is a little bit more difficult, and might actually take me a couple of tries. Now, you do have multiple chances to get the Caterpie Free Star photo, if you are interested in doing that, but you can't get it from this spot, otherwise it'll automatically be 4 star, because that's just the way it works. Okay, so now we have a couple of different things we can do. So we're going to use the length of this thing to light up this trick twice, and that brings uh, Vespaquin out of hiding. We wake you up, and then we can actually give it a fluff fruit. And now we capture it, Sylveon's reaction. Okay, this one's a little bit trickier. This one's random. We have to pretty much capture Vespaquin at the exact moment uh, he's posing to the combi with a combi in the shot. Since we're not willing to get a good shot, it's better to not zoom out because zoom in because if you zoom in, y'all not actually get it. And hopefully, if this worked out right, we'll get exactly all we need. Okay, we didn't get Caterpie's free star photo. So apparently it is more common than I thought. The Vespican one is surprisingly hard to get. Uh, you have to... Have to get it exactly as Vespaquin does the pose. The first two I was sure about. The Happy Vibes one. That one is guaranteed. Okay, we did get Torterra's two star at the very least. Every single time we get one of the Pokemon phases done correctly, it helps us out with uh, playing the game a little bit more, because that's less to do. If I was a little bit better, I probably could have gotten all four of them completed in one run. That's what I was trying to do. It's kind of tricky, though. Like I said, it's completely random. You have to capture combi uh, giving orders to the Ve Vespaquin, giving orders to the combi at the exact spot, uh, at the time you, uh, that. And for Cappy, I don't actually know the free star pose for some reason. So with that in mind, I'm actually gonna be right back for a minute while I check that. Oh guys, welcome back. Oh, and for purposes uh, otherwise not told, I'm turning on burst mode because, well, I should have had it on from the beginning. And also, this photo is actually a lot more random than I initially thought because, according to my guide that I found, it has to be a direct uh, scrolled in photo of Vespa Quinn. And it has to be taken as she's given orders to the combi, and you have to throw the fruit to the right as soon as possible. And that's the only way you could do that. And Caterpie's free star photo, you can't actually get in this mode. The game doesn't tell you that, but there's you can't actually get that. So, how this pincer awakes? Available only in level 1, there is a Caterpie near that pincer. And if you wake it up exactly as you're passing the area, Caterpie will do a shocked reaction, and you're supposed to capture that, and that's its free star photo. Very sneaky game, very sneaky. I think it's like the first time I've ever had to deal with capturing a photo after level 6. Obviously, since this takes a little while to get to, we'll just be using the zoom feature to zoom through this as fast as we possibly can. Yeah. Okay. We'll slow down here and use some mashing to try and get this uh, as soon as we possibly can.
Okay, there we go. Vespaquin is now entered the field. Once Vespaquin enters the field, we have to get a zoomed up shot of him. Every time he does the animation, we have to use six photos. It's easier to do it when he has six photos because then we get a good photo op of him. Or her. And she does it completely random. This is one of her random poses she could do. As with pretty much any random photo, the only really good way to get a free star photo is to just summon her as soon as possible and then just use burst mode and hope one of your photos is a free star. As what we're probably going to be doing with a lot of the photos. Okay. Now let's see. And it's completely random too. If it's not close enough, it'll only be two star. For some strange reason. If we don't find anything, we'll just finish early. And not show any photos here. It is completely random though. And yes, it is completely random as far as I know. Hmm. It might not actually be that. I don't know. Hang on. I'll retry once more, but I don't want to necessarily show the thing. Potentially. Okay. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna pause here. Hello, boys. Welcome back. Turns out, uh, it's actually easier to do this on level 1 as well, so I'll go ahead and knock both of these photos out now. So, um, little secret. There's actually a lot more to do than it meets the eye. In fact, there's lots of other stuff that could be done. Yes, the game considers uh, you could potentially capture Combi doing a flip during its dancing animation, but that just awards you 4-star. That doesn't actually get you 3-star. If you want to get other stuff, you have to go for this course at level 1, and when it's at level 1, that's the only time you can do stuff. In fact, if you don't have it at level 1, this Caterpie won't show up near the area. At least that's what I think. Yeah, 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 the Caterpie is right there. So we use this to raise him out of the ground. And there you see uh, he kind of got streaked for a second. That is uh, our free star photo op that we need. Again, having burst mode makes it a lot easier because uh, you can just sip a lot of the animations. What I think is really interesting is instead of the swan sleeping, uh, aping when they are finished, a couple of aims at end, and also the Murkrow kind of getting your way here. There's lots of big differences. Also, a slight animation difference with Vesbequin can potentially appear. And yes, I did actually get be the behavior, and I found out it was two stars, so it's actually even more secret than what most people thought. As per usual, we have to throw an orb to summon Vesbequin. One of these... Now you can see, Vespa Quinn does some more different stuff here. She doesn't actually stay for a dance in one star photo, but it gives you an opportunity to get a rare behavior. It's still pretty confusing to do though, so... Just like before, the best way to do it is to just summon Vespa Quinn using the same tricks as before, but do the same thing. Only it has to be on one star. Also, I think I was late on that. Hmm. 
And this one was only two star because we... Ah, uh, so annoying. I ended up taking a full of score by these, well, that's kind of funny. Wow, we got neither of them. Hmm. This is one that might straight up uh, be extremely rare to get, I don't know. It's really stupid. The game is still pretty new, so it's really difficult to figure out stuff. Okay, so Vespa Quinn does actually stop in one in front of one of them, and that's the only way uh, we can do this. So yeah, I'm assuming we were late on both of our shots, so we have to do the entire thing again. Except this time, hopefully, we get lucky enough. Yes, I do have burst mode enabled. It will make getting the photos a little bit easier because it allows for a buffer to do certain uh, certain photos. But I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, hopefully that timing's a little bit better. I just did it early, and I hope that works this time. I guess the animation frame didn't quite count for it. If it fails again, then I may also have to include Pinsir as well. Uh, I will say, though, the level 1 is sort of giving me some hope. Setting this to research level 1. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I got it at the first teleport point, but it's kind of tricky to figure out exactly what happens. Figuring out which specific combi she he's mentioning is kind of tricky. I might actually have to do this a bit later than I think. Initially, it's like, oh, use the orb to summon her as soon as possible. Well, what if I don't know what to do? Okay, well, I got... One free star, at least. Thank goodness, I was getting worried this would be bad. And if you don't show the cup... The trickiest part is you have to time this. I think I have to just time this later, because... If the combi isn't showing in the full auto at all... Vespiquin won't talk to it. In case you're wondering when he does his pose... If the combi is right directly in it, it'll act as if he's giving orders to that combi. I think what I'm doing is I'm doing it a little bit too late, because the first one that flies off, that's obviously not the one. The second closest one is the one I have to get closest to. So let's try to see... <coughs> oh, jeez. Sorry for the cough. 
Let's try this again, but let's uh, do things a bit differently. If I still don't get it, I'll prop. I'll be just straight up cut out my uh, performance until I do stuff. I do want to show you guys an idea of how to do this because assuming this ends up becoming a hundred percent one, this might be one of the few places. Few. I might be one of the few people to actually complete this 100% walkthrough by, like, getting all the star photos for every single Pokemon. Because I will say this is a pretty big challenge so far. Because the game is so new, it's really hard to figure out everything. Yes, information gets posted kind of quick, but until later, it's probably going to not be uh, very well detailed, so... Finding out the truth is kind of difficult sometimes, <laughs> in my opinion. Once we finish this, by the way, we don't need to do anything else. We can go straight to uh, the level. We can go straight to the research lab and just finish stuff up there. That's going to be our level where we're doing most of our stuff because there are still lots of secrets to get there and we also need to get First start photos of the Pokemon there too, of course. So we can't just do that. Alright. So this time I'm gonna wait. So this first combi is gonna be kinda chilling. We're gonna wait until about here, then activate that to make him go get Vespaquen. And speed to like this section. Hopefully that'll cause... It's kind of tricky, to say the least. Of course, another strategy is... Apparently, you don't have to use the Illumina Orb on it. Okay, we're not gonna show photos to the professor. Okay. This looks like it might actually take a while, so I'll be right back when I actually get this. Hello, guys. I'm gonna try again because you actually have to be in a really precise spot to get combi shot. Combies, I mean, a Vespaquin's free star. Not only does uh, she have to be given orders, but she also has to be pretty big in the shot. Otherwise. It won't count, and I just figured out the angle to do that. So, anyways, we're gonna mash the button again. Try to trigger the Vespicoid animation as soon as possible. Then we want to zoom to about this point right here. And Vespiquin will then appear. As soon as Vespiquin appears, we're gonna just spam the crap out of this button and hope for the best. Once she leaves that spot, you want to go to this spot and quit research, and from there you just have to hope that her her sprite is big enough. If it's not big enough, you will not get a free star, and that is probably one of the most precise things. Of course, one attempt later, and we are already gotten it. I'm gonna pick this one because it's the best. The trickiest part is you need to have a combi in the shot in addition to her being big. Our wise. This will not work. So, I will say this is probably the most brutal particular free star photo, or I guess particular part of 100% I had to do ever. Like, holy crap, this took so long to figure out. And thank goodness we at least got a good score for that. If I had not gotten diamond for that, I'm not sure what I would have done. But anyways, with that done, we're finally out of the painfulness that is <laughs> this game's 100%, uh, and we're gonna do some chill stuff at the research cap now. It's been kind of tiring, though, so I'm gonna give this, like, one attempt. Let's see where we start. You start a random spot each time. Little secret. You can just go to the lab, 
and then leave. And now change your spot that you start at the research camp. So I'm going to do this one first because this first one is actually kind of precise. So Stoutland, in order to get him to do the thing, you have to feed him multiple times very quickly. In fact, you have to feed him a minimum of two fluff fruit. He is able to eat too, so that's what you want to do. And then once you round this corner, you have to spook Chubbus here. This will actually give you a four-star pose, so we'll go ahead and do that like this. Hang on. And there you can see, um, yeah. <laughs> He kind of just exhaled a foul gas. This causes Eevee to go to the center. And they will kind of just uh, chill around there for a second. To get the second part though, we have to go a little bit closer. We're going to go ahead and try and... Uh... If you play a melody... Uh... Melody to Cutie Fly, I, at a specific point, you can get another pose to appear for one of the stars. Okay, now for probably the most difficult part. We have to throw, we have to pretty much spam out the fluff fruit now and try and lure them so that they get exactly close to each other and you'll see they'll interrupt their animation. Throw an Illumino Orb at Stealth Land and yeah. He kind of just spins around in a circle. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah. The Eevee has to be there, otherwise the Lentok request can actually be completed. It is surprisingly difficult. It is not necessarily one of the most difficult foes to take, but definitely a difficult one to do. As with most courses, we're just going to skip to the end after each one and take photos. Obviously, the four star is the one you want because that one is going to be the only thing that will get you the pose. So here we can see we got Cutie Fi's pose and uh, here's our four star pose for Stoutland. I forget... Which animation prey do I like? I don't know. Hmm. This one looks better. Despite not having Eevee, this one looks better. I'm gonna take this one. Okay, that's only a three star, surprisingly. And this S vein is also a lot more common than I initially expected. That being said, not surprised. <laughs> burst mode definitely helps with some of these. <laughs> if you don't have burst mode on, it's pretty crazy. Of course, burst mode is kind of bad for certain photos. Also, that's a good upgrade. Yeah. Okay. This behavior looks like studying. Okay, one request complete. And another request complete. And yes, these two are arguably the hardest requests to complete in the entire game. So, um, yeah. Very important that we do that when we can. Cool. And the research camp only has one level, so you don't have to worry about setting it up. Okay, now we're going to reach I because for the next one, we have to be inside the lab when this happens. So, this time we're gonna activate an animation at the start. I'm gonna still take a photo of Stoutland eating his left fruit. To see if I can sneak it. A uh, star photo or not. And yes, you have to feed Stoutland exactly to fluff fruit. Otherwise, it won't actually go in. Anyways, we've turned burst mode off. You can do that in the middle of an area, which makes it easier. Yeah. 
This one, you actually need a po nerd Pokemon to be there in order for it to reveal the secret. Anyway, apparently we can go into the lab while starting from the lab entrance area or near the lab. So we're going to do that, and that's how we actually get um, another animation for us to see, specifically for a Dedenny. We can get most of their stir those here. So anyway... Okay, buddy. It's kind of tricky. You'll see, it'll quickly go between the different orbs as you go through. It's kind of crazy. Oh. Okay. Hmm. That was kind of a tight photo. He, she came kind of late, so that might have been bad. Okay, now we're gonna go for Bunnelby's secret, uh, for a star pose next, and this is actually a lot harder than I initially thought. Starting from the lab, I have to get uh, Bunnelby to come out of his hole. But to get him to come out of his hole, I actually have to hit him with a front fruit and a. Uh, Illumina Orb, just like, almost immediately back to back. And the Fluff Fruit has to be first. So it's actually a lot more of a tougher timing than you thought. I had the right idea for this, I just didn't know that I had to do both of these. I believe Bumblebee appears around here last I checked. Okay, yeah, there he is. So he's gonna appear in these holes at random. The most problematic part is having to quickly spam these together. The fluff fruit probably being the most difficult to hit him. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's kind of an example of what's, what that looks like. Which is uh, cool. Anyway. We're gonna actually do this a little bit more because Dedenny uh, hasn't really been able to eat fluff fruit much. So since this is the only time to photograph him in different states, we're gonna actually have to do this a couple more times anyways. Okay, that's good enough. And okay, our first photo ended up working anyway. Good. No need to get another one. <laughs> uh. Alright then, let's see. Fortunately, he didn't get Stoutland's free star. We'll keep on trying different things. Alright. And both requests have been completed. Looks like you only need a four star photo for that. So, that was actually pretty straightforward now that we did that. Hmm. Maybe I could get Bumblebee to eat a fluff fruit as well. I'm gonna try and sneak that in. Because, uh, there's still lots of stuff to do. Okay. Retry again. There'll be lots of retries going through in this level, because, uh, this level has a lot of different and unique Pokemon to do. Let's try playing a melody for Stoutland. Okay, well, that doesn't work. Oh. Okay. I don't know what else to do, so I'll go ahead and, uh... Feed Stoutland some more fruit. fruit. Maybe that will be enough. Yes, right away, we need multiple animations for Dedenny. We only got his one star the last time I checked, and it's pretty difficult. So, um, to check that... Oh. By the way, I can get the starry one as well, but the starly one is actually quite a bit different. And it can actually only be done on the other course. So, anyway...
Let's start by uh, getting it to eat, and then we'll see Sappy Pose. It's kind of turned around here. Let's see if we can. Whoa! Oh! It went somewhere else. It was interesting. That's fine. We got at least one happy animation. Perhaps this will be a, a bit different this time. Okay. I'm interested to try some other stuff here, so let's uh, go ahead and spook Chalice real quick so we can get the... I'll get Eevee down out of his hiding hole and then we can... Oh! I've never seen Pikachu do that before. Hmm. Interesting. Pikachu is... Since there's still lots of four-star photos to get, I honestly don't know what I should do. Okay, I don't seem to notice that at the moment. Bellby still has a two or three star pose I have to get, so we have to do the thing again. This is kind of tricky to get. Okay. Alright. We're gonna check his two star pose right now. What I like is you can check two poses at once. One for uh, getting them to wake up. Another one for getting them to do their animation. And another for them doing like a happy dance or something. Well, I, I, yeah, that would be two because the first one would be them eating and the second one would be them happy. And sometimes those end up being different. So with that knowledge in mind, let's do that and see if we got anything new. Okay, well, it didn't matter. All we needed is a two-star dead day pose, and we got it. It's not the best, because he's not facing the right way, but at least we don't have to go in the lab anymore at the moment. And, yeah. Okay. We'll do this one. I'm gonna... Just... Okay, so that's uh, another common behavior, I assume. Okay, looks like Stoutland's free star is a lot harder to find than I thought. Also, I completely forgot to do it. Okay. I didn't see a good Meowth one. I'm gonna try this course one more time. My one-star pose for Pikachu is surprisingly good, despite it being only one star, because it captured the exact moment he was about to use Thunderbolt. <laughs> Very cute, actually. I get... Okay. Let's do one more, just to try and exhibit a little bit with Meowth's poses this time. Okay. Okay, we can... Okay. There we go. Okay. By the way, the starly pose for the secret vein or whatever, I can only do that uh, on the free star hills or whatever. So I'm going to try something really quick. 
And I need to make sure I'm only going for that and not anything else. Because we already uh, did that a couple of times. What does Travis do after uh, he does... I wonder... Okay. Okay, he's... He's just walking around. There's literally nothing to see here. I thought he would attack Pikachu, too. That would be kind of interesting. As with most of my animation tests, I think the best, safest way of doing this is to do the same thing as we did for the four-star photo, but just try and capture different opportunities. Okay. Let's see, I should... Sometimes they take a little while. Sometimes they don't go together immediately. Like, they have to be really close. Alright. Well, that is basically all I could do. Quick research. Try to get a different animation frame. Maybe that will be enough. Probably should have mashed it a bit more. Okay. Oh, we already got his two-star pose. Huh. Okay. Let's go ahead and show nothing, actually. Again, like I said, some of the poses are easier to get than ours, while others are essentially as unique as they can get. Like I said, some of the three star poses could be almost just as hard as the four star poses. When our times, it's not quite as bad as you initially thought. Okay, uh. We have to actually return to the camp for the next one, so we'll go ahead and continue on there. Our major focus right now is the Len Talk requests. And we got the alternative background, so we can start right now if we want, but. First off, let's go to Florio and see what uh, requests we actually completed. Because we completed quite a few of them. What I think Len Talk is the most helpful for is these give you hints as to how to get some of the 4 star and 3 star behaviors. Yeah. Nice. Hmm, I'm thinking that one might require a... I'm just, I'm just saying right now, that one probably requires a melody. This one, I have to throw Fruit out to get Meowth to appear. It's kind of tricky, actually. This one is actually surprisingly straightforward. You just need to use Fruit on them, and they'll do an animation after you feed bo feed them both, I believe. That one's kind of tricky. For this one, you actually have to lure another Pokemon over to Ardino in order to make... It interesting. Okay. You've got a frame. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm actually going to be done for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.